Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to Minecraft Big Damn Build. Because that's apparently the title I'm going with. Here you are seeing stuff I did off screen. Mostly, this is all planning. All of the emerald and all of the lapis lazuli is all planning. A lot of which, but not all, I'm gonna cover in this video what I'm actually gonna be building. Um, plus also I built a little path connecting those two dams. Uh, before I get in too far in though, while I have the chance, I'm gonna talk about news. I don't have any channel news. Well, I have one little bit of channel news. Basically, I have thumbnails now, but I'm still not gonna make any for Final Fantasy VI. And that's all the news! So, Minecraft. Okay, now that we're done looking at things, we're going to start right on the building. The first thing I do is, well, it's a tunnel. Basically, there's a few th things that stand out to me as being issues with the current build. One of them is that the da all of the dams, except for the one on the other side, because that one's different, they feel like they should all be connected to each other because they look very functional. But they aren't actually very functional right now. So, one of the things I can do that, to make them more functional is to actually connect them together and make it so that in addition to being dams, they also serve as pathways. And that's sort of what I'm doing here. I already did it on the one end, so now, up here, I am building a path through, because eventually I'm going to be putting more buildings in this area anyway, and this seemed like a good way to get access to it. The plan for this part called for three thick, I guess, but I think it looks better this way. I think this looks pretty good. But, it is completely unlit. Um, which isn't so good. It's not very functional if you can't, if you are risking being blown up by using it. So, it's time to put in some stylistic lighting. Hello, Creeper. Um, so for the lighting, I just went with netherrack, uh, a little bit of netherrack fencing with torches on front. In fact, all these bridges are lit almost entirely by torches. Um, just because it's cheap, but it's a lo there's a lot of things you can do with them to make it look easy, or easy, that's wrong, to make it look okay without being out of place. Because it could use like glowstone lamps on, or something. But those would use up more room and they look and it would be a lot easier for those to look out of place. Now, we are overviewing this part, which is gonna take a while to get into. I decided to start with the lower part. Because it's a, it's comparative it's smaller than the higher level, and also I think simpler, although I'm not sure if I realized that at the time. For the lower part, I decided to just extend the coloring of the wood on the dam. And I think it looks pretty well. One thing I want to point out here again is the support structs don't stop at the dirt. They go below it until you can't see the bo bottom, so it's not obvious what it's resting on. Because that doing it that way just makes it look a lot better. One thing I should point out now is the blue part over on the left of here, I plan on making sort of an artificial lake in that part, another one, right? Go figure. Um, and I'm probably going to extend the upper platform, or the lower platform, at to be part of one of the uh, retaining walls for that lake. Oh, 
Of course, this, that lake's going to be a little bit different than the other ones, but, well, you'll see how, when I actually build it, because I won't be building that part in this episode. Or, is episode even the right term in this case? I'm not sure, I don't, I'm not sure if it actually is. Hmm. Food for thought. Anyway. Now we build up here. Because I need to actually reach the upper layer first. Now. Something you might notice, if you're watching carefully, is I sort to cheat here a little bit. I have a middle step that is an actual steps, but the rest of these are half blocks. Um, <laughs> I got a little bit carried away around the edges to this part, I think. I didn't need to... The dirt siding looks fine, I think, but I ended up getting rid of it. Well, oh well. Actually, I end up redoing this part because I'm not really I'm not really happy with this layout where there's sort of just empty spots in the middle. So I'm going to end up going back to it later to clean it up a bit. I also think I probably could have knocked out a little less dirt than I did on that part, but eh, this part looks fine either way, I think. But yeah, this, it just kind of looks awkward with the small strips of grass in the middle of the stone and the wood. So, yeah. And this is the only time I show it, I think, but every time I put down dirt, I make sure there's something underneath it, because just hanging dirt doesn't really look too great. Like, if you can see the underside of it, there's cases where that's fine, but for something like this, it looks a little bit out of place, because it's obvious that there's nothing supporting it there. I also think I end up rebuilding the sides of this two or three times just to get it the shape right. In this case, it's because I need stairways up, and I didn't have enough room for it, so I needed to knock some out. Speaking of these stairways, I don't really like how it turned out with the wood. Like, the stairway itself I think is fine, I just don't like the texture. Because it doesn't really... the two colors of wood don't really blend very well the way I did this. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to go back to this and replace the... Uh, the wood of this stair with stone. And I think that'll look a lot better. I may also make it a little bit narrower. Um, but I might not. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. And now, I need supports for this extra part. But, which, I'm not sure how well this would have turned out at the moment, but it did lead me to do this, like a secondary support layer on the whole upper part, which I think looks really good. It gives it this nice layered feeling, which makes sense because it's literally layered. Um, but it just looks really good. And I kind of stumbled onto it by accident. It's, a, it's sort of surprising how many uh, design decisions end up being like happy accidents in a project like this. But I can't complain. It makes my job easier, sort of. Now, I like how this area, this part turned out eventually. But it took me a few tries to get it looking correct. Um, just because the, the size of it is a little bit awkward. I think... I think what I ended up doing eventually is I added an extra block or two to one of the sides. And that made it work a lot better, but... But I don't specifically recall right now if I did did that, or whether or not I did that in the video for that matter. I guess we'll see.
Uh, and here's where I start fixing this part up. Because it doesn't really look good with the way I had it before. So, what I end up doing is I make the uh, wood thicker on this side up to a certain point. And then I relay the stone so that there isn't this grass blob in the middle. And then to finish it off, I do a little bit of light landscaping to sort of restore the hill I destroyed. Which makes it look a lot better, I think. And then I have this little grass block sort of all on its own, and I don't really like how that looks. So, I put a light on it, and replace it with stone. And then, while I'm at it, I light everything up. I'm using the uh, mossy cobblestone here, because I also used it over on the stairway before for lighting. Just as sort of amounts for the torches. Because it looks... Uh, I don't know. I think it looks okay, but I might replace it. And then we get to the big part. Um, I, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't really like how this turned out. I'm probably going to go back to it and do more work to it. Uh, probably off screen actually, but I'll make sure I show it in the, the any work I do in the next, at the beginning of the next video. I do like the pattern, but yeah, something just didn't quite click with this. It's too bulky and it doesn't, the biggest problem is it doesn't match the style of the other parts very well. Because these these blue parts should match the style, incidentally, of the other dam, not the uh, the one big one, not the, the sequential ones. But it just doesn't really do it. Uh, however, the reason for this part, and the other parts that I'll be building afterwards, is basically, if I look at the top part, it, it's really obvious that there's no so way the water, the water actually have gotten there to me. It's all just sort of sitting here, but it's like, why is it here? It's not clear. And that's something I could probably get away with ignoring, but I don't know, it just sort of bothered me. So I did these. I'm putting in obvious water sources. Uh, which is another thing that sort of failed with, actually. It, it's clear that it's a fountain, but it's not really clear that this thing actually is feeding water into the, uh, the outside part. So again, it really does need some work. Yeah, I guess that's not awful, but I just don't really like it. It should be better. It should match better the rest of the aesthetics. But we can leave that alone for now because I'm going to start these. Um, I only showed doing the one of them because they're all, except for the bridge on the outside, which we'll get to in a minute, they're all identical to each other on the inside. So I only really need to show one because they'll look the same. Just dig straight down. And all I think all of them go back that go by that same underground water, but none of them go through it. Just in case you were wondering. And we fill it up. with quite a bit of water. I have no idea how it did that because it shouldn't have, but you know, I'm not complaining. I was gonna do that anyway. But it looks kind of like a mess out here. I don't really like when water looks does that without sculpting the terrain around it a bit, which I could have done. I sort of started to do it actually, but then I decided, you know, let's actually build like a small aqueduct to take it into the reservoir. So I do that instead, and I think it turned out, well, it was pretty okay. Pretty okay, yeah. Damn, but faint phrase. Um, <laughs> no, it's fine. The only thing I would change is I don't, I would have liked the, uh, the part where the water goes out to be a little bit, I guess you could say larger, but no, 
this looks fine. And I sort of cheat a little bit by putting extra water into it, just to make sure it flows properly. Yeah, like, that looks fine. But I ended up deciding I wanted to extend it a little bit, which I don't know. Eh, it kind of works. Whatever. Now, if I wanted to cut a corner, I don't really need to go below the dirt underwater because without a night vision potion, that is pretty much impossible to see. But I still prefer to keep the details like that. And hey, I'm in creative mode, so there's, there's not like there's anything stopping me. I'll probably go back to this and just add more uh, mossy and broken and cracked bricks to it. Otherwise, though, I think it looks fine. And there's the other two, which, as I said, are all are all identical on the inside. And let's get a look without our night vision, which I think it looks fine. Like you. Sh it should be clear the water's coming from somewhere in there, but you don't need to get a really good look at it from outside. You probably shouldn't, actually. It preserves some of the mystery without um, overtly being just impossible. And then we take a final look around. I think this is the final look around. Um, one more thing I did add is I added some lights to that inside of that fountain, but I don't think I ever showed that. Yeah, I must have done that off screen. I still missed that one piece of grass. I don't know how I did it, but it's been bothering it's bothering me during this, it bothered me when I was editing this video, it's just, it's bothering me constantly. Anyway, uh, for the next time, I'm gonna tackle this. Putting in an artificial lake, and I'm gonna put something inside of it. But again, you'll, well, you'll see what next time. Actually, to be honest, I'm not completely really sure what it'll be yet. I'm also gonna tackle this, which is gonna be another tunnel. But until next time, well... This has been Let's Build with Cast Blue, and I hope you enjoyed. Until then, have a great day. Bye!